So last week I saw Mr. Elden Zoo's 100 hour bounty and I really wanted to try it. So we're going to be making 100 hour fuzzy brownies. Are they best ever? Let me walk you through the entire process as it goes from this thick luscious batter to one and a third pounds of chocolate to back and forth in the fridge and the freezer and the oven as it goes from all the different phases that it has to go through. Uh, which takes about 100 hours in total to back to this gorgeous brownie but we'll be tasting this i'll be walking you along a taste test i did after one hour then 24 hours then around 72 hours and then the entire 100 hours and i'll be giving you uh, the differences that i felt is it worth it so let's get to baking so i have my ipad next to me and all the ingredients are all measured in grams and ready to go and because I really wanted to test it out exactly, I didn't skimp on anything, I went to the store and bought myself the same kind of chocolate, uh, the same ratios that are written in the recipe, I didn't divide it in half because I really really wanted to try it as it truly was, um, the recipe link to the Mr. Zeus channel is in the description, you can find the recipe there, he has all the details that you need to make this brownie in his video so do watch that so the batter is quite thick and that means it's gonna make a really fudgy delicious brownie that's uh, one of the ways to know if the brownie batter is good is it's supposed to be thick and now i'm going to chop up some chocolate this is not the entire bar that i'm using i have another ginormous 400 gram bar next to me that i'm going to chop up and i'm going to put it in 1.3 pounds of really good quality chocolate if you add everything up with the melted chocolate and the one chunks that goes in it's a lot of chocolate for this recipe but it's I hope it's going to be worth it. Um, another little tip that I wanted to share with you guys is this is what I always do when I'm baking especially brownies. I uh, line my pan, I grease it, I put some parchment paper on it and then I again grease it with some oil spray or butter, whatever you have and your brownie will never ever stick. I have this one ready for the test batch. That was an 8, um, eight into 8 square. I'm going to be using half of that. So now I'm just gonna drop my gorgeous batter. It's a little hard to move it around because it's so thick. And because uh, I took out some of the batter for a test batch, that tray was too big. And now I am shifting it in a smaller one. And now I'm gonna put in all the heaps of chocolate that needs to go on top. And the big tray is gonna be baked um, in around three days time i'm gonna make sure that i seal it properly because it is going to stay in the fridge for quite a while i want it to stay as nice as possible because uh, we do tend to open doors quite a lot and with little kids i know my kids are always opening the door and checking what's there in the fridge um so this is gonna go in the fridge for the next three days so see this one later and now it's uh, 21st of October 10:49 on a Wednesday so this had been in the fridge for 30 minutes the test batch that I did um, half of an 8 into 8 square I'm gonna bake it for about 18 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit because it's small and it had not been in the fridge for that long uh, I reckoned 18 minutes would be perfect and it left the sides and it's still wiggly in the middle so that means it's ready to go i am gonna um, follow the next step i am going to put it in the freezer for 30 minutes because i really want to give it a try and see what these steps do to a brownie um, so this has been in the freezer for 30 minutes it's still a little soft as you can see um, and now i'm gonna cut it always always use a sharp knife when you are cutting a cake especially a fuzzy brownie and keep a glass of warm water nearby dip it clean it after every cut and you will have beautifully clean cut brownie every single time so this looks quite fudgy it has um, wrinkles on top i don't see a lot of flaking on this but it does look quite fudgy so let's just taste it So 
so not only did I taste it myself but my family did a taste test too and we actually found it very very bitter I'm someone who loves 70% chocolate and it was still very bitter for me everything else I've mentioned on the screen you can read upon that and then what I did was I covered it up really nicely and tightly and I put it in the fridge for 24 hours to see if it would make a difference to it so after 24 hours it um, was quite solid as you can see any fuzzy brownie would be this is how it looks at the moment i'm gonna microwave it for about 20 to 30 seconds and see how it tastes like what difference does it make is it worth waiting 24 hours or not and of course there was not gonna be much of a difference looks wise but i was really hoping to see uh, what difference does it make to the taste of the brownie and again i had my family taste it too and everybody gave it thumbs up a little bit it was a bit better everything but the sweetness level was a little bit enhanced for some reason but still i wasn't very happy with it and now lo and behold it's saturday 10 32 a.m and it's time to bake our main batch of the brownies this is how it looks it was pretty solid at this moment as you can see you can i can just take it out and it would be pretty solid so i am going to bake it for 30 minutes uh, at 350 fahrenheit as the recipe calls and right out of the oven i noticed that this batch did rise a little bit more than the one i baked the same day and not only does it has wrinkles but it has that beautiful shiny crackly top that you want from a brownie and this again went into the freezer for 30 minutes for some shock therapy and of course i'm gonna try a piece um just to see if i need to put it in uh, the fridge for 24 hours and what difference does it make also i greased the foil before putting it in the freezer so that if any stickage would happen it would not i mean my brownie would not be destroyed and i wouldn't be sad after all that time so uh, now i'm gonna just take out and see how this one tastes and i'm also gonna have my family taste it because oh my god my house smells amazing and did you see that gooey chocolatey thing that just happened when i took out a piece and now we're gonna taste it it is a lot more fudgy than the earlier version it has um, it looks different let's see if it tastes different too and it's so much more fudgy than the one we baked earlier i think i've said that already but it is so gooey it's so rich and uh, i don't know how but the sweetness is so balanced the edges are quite uh, crusty yet chewy if you like that kind of a thing you're gonna really love it and now i'm even more excited to see how different it's gonna be tomorrow so off it goes in the fridge for 24 more hours and it's sunday hurrah it's time to try it and um let's take it out of the fridge and cut it right away because i have three guys who are right next to my counter space waiting to have this after breakfast and we may or may not have stolen another piece before putting it into the fridge yesterday it was so good and now let's just cut it um always use a sharp knife because sorry sharp knife and because it's pretty solid right now and oh my god can you see those beautiful cracks on the top um and because it's so hard we are gonna need some force to cut it and it's gonna have a much cleaner cut to it as compared to the other brownies um use both hands if need be use a little pressure and did you hear that snap that just happened that chocolatey snap that was wonderful so cut your brownies into the shapes that you desire i'm gonna cut them into fairly nice sized squares and then we're gonna microwave them and we're gonna see how is it and look at that this looks up like straight up fudge and um i think 30 seconds in the microwave was too much it's almost exploded on me and this one i did for 15 seconds but in five second burst so that i could have control over it and i think that's good but it's so fudgy you guys i cannot even grab it and eat it it needs to be eaten with a spoon and the 100 hour made a huge difference especially when i 
come uh, compare it to the one I had the same day. I'm going to write everything on the screen for you guys to read and compare yourself. Again, if uh, you don't like a really strong bitter taste, try using a little, a little less dark chocolate, maybe 30 or 50% is going to be good, but it was so, so good. One of the fuzziest brownies that you can make. And I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to try any other recipes, please comment below. I will surely do that for you guys. And uh, now the homemaker baker over and out. See you guys soon. How is it? Hmm? Shake the camera. <laughs> is it good? Aapko achhi lagi hai? Kitni achhi? One thousand hundred. One thousand hundred achhi.